Hey everyone, <clears throat> welcome back. We are gonna jam some Dredge tonight, um, as requested by one of our viewers. Uh, this is the list that you know, sent over as well. So we've got um, seven fetch lands, and then we've got two blood crypts and two stomping grounds, four copper line gorges, uh, one gemstone mine, and one mana confluence um, for our lands, giving us total 19 there. Um, in the one drop here, we have one Dark Blast, four Lootings, four Shriek Horns, four Narcomivos, four, um, four Blood Gas, four Carthodic Reunions, four Life from the Loams, and two Thugs, four Imps, four Amalgams, four Chills, and two Con Flags. And if you're not familiar with this deck, what it basically is looking to do is get these dredgers into the graveyard. So Stink Queen Imp here is a dredge 5, Golgari Thug is a dredge 4, um, Loam is a dredge 3, Dark Blast is also a dredge 3. Um, and basically what it will do is anytime you have a draw effect, you can do a replacement for it with a dredge where you put the dredge card back into your hand from the graveyard and you flip over, you put that many cards from your library into the graveyard. Um, and the reason this deck does it and does such a good job of what it's doing is it's basically trying to get a bunch of free creatures into play and they're recurrable. So Narcomiva, if it's put into the graveyard from the library, you can put it onto the battlefield. Blood Gas, if you put a land into play while it's in the graveyard, it gets to come back onto the battlefield. And then you have Prized Amalgam, which is if another creature is put into the battlefield from the graveyard, um, or you cast it from the graveyard, you can then trigger, and at the end step, this will come back. Uh, on top of that, we also have Creeping Chill, which lets us, if it if it is put into the graveyard from the library, you can exile, and if you do, they lose 3 life, you gain 3 life. Um, so just a lot of great interactions between the entire deck. And just basically trying to mill over your own cards, or trying to discard them and then draw cards. Uh, one of the strong ways this deck ends the game is through Conflagrate, which is you. it costs red XX to cast and you can divide as much as you'd like. But what's key here for this deck is that it has the flashback, which is red red, and then discard X card. So you can load up your um, hand with a bunch of cards using Life of the Loam, which lets you dredge and then bring three cards back. And you basically get to, you're dredging a bunch, you're getting a bunch of creatures into play, you're attacking aggressively, and then you've got all these cards in your hand and you can flag, clear the way for your creatures to do get the finishing attack or you can just hit your opponent as well so that's the main board and it's been a pretty um stock list from what i've seen i've seen some people flex the dark blasts and the conflag a little bit the gold thug a little bit but everything else because there's their four hours you don't really see too much happening there now, moving on to our sideboard, we've got another Dark Blast, a Collective Brutality, a Ley Line, and a Vengeful Pharaoh, four light, I mean, three Lightning Axes, three Ancient Grudges, four Nature's Claim, and then one Abrupt Decay. Um, my friend was also able to supply a um, sideboarding guide for us, so we're going to be able to utilize that. So, without much further wait, we are going to just jump into a leap. Let me turn down that volume because it always seems to reset. Alrighty. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos and everything like that. I'm always willing to take any requests, play any decks you guys like. Even if I do stumble through it a bit, I do apologize for that. A lot of times it might be the first time playing it, but I do love playing pretty much any deck in Modern. Um, I do upload all of my videos onto Twitch and onto YouTube, so you can find me on there. Um, every night I stream on Sundays from, I mean, uh, every night that I do stream, which is Sundays and Wednesdays, I stream from about 6 to uh, 10 p.m. I run about two leagues um, every time, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so hope you guys are enjoying what we're doing here, and if you have any um, recommendations, always willing to take some feedback and how I can improve. I know I really got to get the... Uh, the deck list on here. I do update it on Stream Decker as I am playing it, but I don't necessarily um, update it, uh, get the list to you guys afterwards. And that's that's my bad. I really should be doing that. Okay, so this hand here, um, it's got a double Shriek Horn, but we've got a lot of the key cards we want to hit right in our hand, which is not good. We have no way to discard that, and we have no draw engine going here. So I really don't want to keep this. Hmm. So we've got the ability to discard 
here with the amalgam uh, and the conflagrate here, but we're not going to be discarding it effectively until, like, you know, we got a cast conflag turn one. Um, flashback on turn two, and then Shri Karn. I still, yeah, this is pretty rough here. I'm gonna ship this. This is, this is good. We'll keep this. And that's like one of the other cool things about this deck, honestly. The fact that it mulligans really well. It only needs a few cards to get going because once it hits the cards that it does need, you're pretty much fine to just um, bend them. And every time you dredge, you're really um, getting an insane amount of value from it. So, let's go ahead and shock ourselves here and the Faithful Saluting. And we're going to discard. Blood gas and low. And we'll pass it over. So we're gonna dredge back the loam and we are gonna bring back that narcomiva. We also hit a as well which is pretty sweet for us so we'll play the land and we will bring that back let's cathartic we'll discard these both of the loams dredge the first loam um the other cool thing with uh dredging is that you don't actually because it's a replacement effect you don't actually choose uh, what card you're dredging until after you you actually have to draw so here you can see that we dredge and then I dredged again, and then now I'm picking up the stink weed and hitting that. So awesome. Okay. And we will bring those back. And pass it over. Here, so we're gonna dredge the stink weed out. See what I hit. We hit some creeping shells. Pretty sweet. Alright, they're just gonna concede. Alrighty, so that was uh, pretty sweet. Um, so we are, it looks like we're going against um, Shadow here. Um, so we are going to be taking out one horn, one dark blast, one amalgam, one gemstone, and one reunion, and bringing in the axe, the decay, the pharaoh. Dark Blast, Amalgam, Mine. Okay. So we'll take all that out, bring all this in, and we are good to go. So this deck and Phoenix have been the two top decks that have really been pushing the uh, whole ban Faithless Living conversation. Alright, so this is a pretty good hand. We've only got one land here. Um, but we've got Loam. One of the biggest things I've always been told about um, these, uh, about this deck is that you need to get to two lands before you go into this hyper-aggressive 
um, position because then you're going to uh, never get above two lands if you don't have it. But this is a pretty solid handle, so we're going to keep this. got our second land not even a problem for us okay so let's go land and we're gonna shriek horn don't you stub it oh my gosh they're so good at this opponent's too good just too good So our next turn we can either Faithless without any treasures, um, which I don't think is really where we want to be. Let's see what they hit. Um, so I'm thinking about just cracking our Wooded Foothills, getting a land, and then we could loan. Which is what we're going to have to do anyway, because they uh, took the card from us. Okay. That. We're gonna long hit that, and then we're gonna pass it over. So next turn we can start um, dredging, and we'll be able to faithless looting as well, which is pretty good. of our black source right now. So a line that we could go for is to just cut flag and then dump our whole hand because uh, we don't have any treasures in the graveyard. And then or we can just cut flag yeah we could just cut flag and loan and then that way we have one dredger in the graveyard and then next turn we can go for the conflagging them. Yeah, I, I like that line. This allows us the potential to, we don't get Stinkweed Imp in our graveyard this turn, but it allows us, oh, they're going to start to Galark and Flag. Man! This opponent's doing rude stuff, that's how we know. Okay. So we'll pass it over. They're dropping shadows, they got one card left in hand. We could opt to creeping chill them, but I think that would just kill us, so I'm not gonna go that route. This card. 
Hmm. We didn't hit anything we need. They can just fetch and shock. And then they can swing for lethal. So, I think we're dead. Could have played the Stinkweed Imp to prevent a block. That probably would have been the better line, I think. Because if we drain them here, they're going to go to 7, that pumps it up, and then they fetch shock. And so, no matter what we do here, we die. So, yeah. Hmm. Too bad you can't block the blood cast. So we'll wrap it up here. Okay. We'll run that again. Yeah, I definitely think we could have. Yeah, I should have played off that creature because then we would have been able to block <clears throat> as long as they didn't have a uh, battle rage. Um, we should have been fine to just play it, block, play it, block. Okay, so this is pretty solid. Um, the biggest issue with this hand is that we do not have a dredge effect, but we've got. Two draws, and then we've got Shriekhorn to get us to it. So I'm going to keep this. Faith is looting, most likely, or lightning axe. Possibly the lightning axe. Sadness. We will lose. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm supposed to put a stop on my turn upkeep because I want to mill myself. Prime example right there. So that was a big mistake. Did not have that stop set up already. There's a narco amoeba. Faithless. Bend the thug and the chill. Play the wooded. Get ourselves a mountain. Booting. Thug into. Imp, discard the blood ghast. And the imp here, trigger this creeping chill. And we'll pass it back to them. Back our loam to get more lands in our hand. And then we'll chill them. Flag to get 
get rid of it. Ooh, they're holding the shadow back. All right, let's get Stinkweed in. Get a Narco Amoeba. These Narco Amoebas are going to be the death of them, I swear. All righty. So we can Conflag, we can Faithless. I think. I want to see the Blood Gas. Bring those back. I want to fetch right now in case we need to make sure we have a black source. I want to have it in case we mill it over. And we're either shocking ourselves here and running off the stinkweed up to prevent their attack, or we are going to dredge. Um, but I think we're going to dredge here so we can swing first if we wanted to and they'd have to block the blood gas we could go for the conflag kill they most likely have a counter though so I'm not as big a fan of that I guess it will let us know where we should be attacking though. So let's conflag them. Four three. Dredge doing his thing. I think we could have won that cleanly at 2 0. This deck is pretty sweet, I gotta say. Although, game twos and threes always are miserable because they have so much graveyard hate. You gotta be able to play around that, but. That's fine. That's why we have all the nature's claim in our side anyway, right? Hmm. No dredgers. But we can faithless and bend these blood gas and tree corn. I think this is worth risking. Corn first. See if we can hit some dredgers before we faithless. Not 
Watchtower and they had a Sulphur Falls. Phoenix? Yeah. Start off with that chair. Okay. Didn't hit any, but we can definitely load up our graveyard to start. So let's bit, um, bin a thug and a blood gas. And we'll put a land and play tapped. Get that back. Trigger that amalgam. Pass it over. See, have they have a flipped thing? a flip thing in the ice. Two, three, four, five, six. Where are we at? So I can I'm gonna charge back this thug first. We'll get a narco amoeba back and we'll drain them. So we can we can cun flag Ben our entire hand and deal seven points of damage. Which is unfortunately not enough for that Awoken Horror. Um, so we might want to just do it for six. Leave a land in our hand here. And then that way we can trigger Blood Gas and bring back Amalgam. We can take out both the Phoenix. And then we can swing on them with the Blood Gas. Hit them for four because we would have dealt them two. And then we can bring back the Amalgam and hopefully kill them the following turn is where I think we're at. Um, no, wait, we can't bring back the blood gas because I have to use the mana to conflag and then discard. So we're not going to be able to bring it back this turn. That's rough. Um, hmm. still think that's our best play because we can't really just faithless here um, that's just not going to do anything productive so let's go get a land we'll cunt flag for zero and then we'll cunt flag do it for six we won't have to land in order to bring anything back I think that's fine we need them to be at uh, we need them to be at ten
Oh boy. That's game with the gacha. Okay. Okay. So against Phoenix, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the Axe, the Decay, and the Ley Line, and we're going to cut a Horn, a Dark Blast, and Amalgamate a Confluence. And then we're going to be taking out two horns. The Dark Blast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Amalgam. And the Confluence. Okay, we've got a dredge effect and we've got the ability to get things going. So let's keep this. Okay, they're gonna surgical our loam. How incredibly rude of them. We could have used that, folks. We could have used that. So I think next turn here, we're just gonna go for the faithless, possibly, unless we draw a dredge effect that we can discard with cathartic. Don't tell me they got another surgical. It'd make me cry right now. Tears would flow. Okay, Axe is pretty good. Let's discard Kenflag. No land. Back our blood gas, we'll pass it over. Still don't have enough draw effects. So we have the option of either conf um, we can conflag that for four, which I don't think is worth it. I'd rather just lightning axe it. And then we can the cathartic. But we still haven't hit any treasures. But let's get rid of this. And let's we don't necessarily need the green source for anything now other than the abrupt decay. Um, so we'll just play, get them out here because if we need to cast it, we can play, we will use the gemstone possibly for it now because we ran the discard here. But no, I have to discard two cards. So we're just going to swing and pass. That is me overthinking that entire hand. So next turn we're gonna cathartic. Hmm. Ah, and there's the abrupt decay. 
Oh, I gotta click zero. Gonna be pretty mad at myself about that abrupt decay business. Faithless. Been both amoebas. I mean, uh, both blood gas. Play the land. Don't want to pay the life. We'll bring both of those back. And we'll have to take the seven here, hope not to die to a bolt, and then run out the stinkweed em. So we really shouldn't be in this uh, bad predicament here. I sequenced this pretty badly, and as a result of se bad sequencing, we weren't able to get that Awoken Horror. So we really shouldn't have lost this match, but because of my bad sequencing, we lost it. So, yeah. A better drunk player, like the one that says sent this deck over to me, would have known not to make that misplay. So. But let's move on to the next one. If you guys have any decks you guys want to play for the uh, one after this league, let me know. I'm thinking about playing humans because one of my f uh, friends is getting back into modern. He says he wants to. He's thinking about the humans deck, so we might pull that one up. Um, that one's been on the uptick, or I'm, I would say I would want to play Breach Titan again because that one has uh, piqued my interest for the next deck I'd want to play at the event. It's coming up. Although, every single one of my friends tell me that if I'm not playing a Faithless Looting deck, I'm really doing myself a disservice right now. So, that also heavily sways my opinion that I should be playing that. Okay, this hand does not have anything going on with it while you're gonna ship it. Hmm, this hand also doesn't have much going on with it. This hand's got no lands to get things going. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I don't think we can go below this though. I think we're just gonna bank to see what they're playing and then scoop it up. So they're on some kind of human stack here. Are they on the Vanifar pod? Because of the greed and mana right now? A human stack? I'm not playing the land there because I don't want to give them anything. Really on this multicolor deck? Oh, this is crazy. Some kind of fair value human stack. Maybe a fair value creature now? Just. Hmm. 
I just want to see a little bit more of what they got going on, and then I'm going to scoop it up and go to game two. So they're on some kind of just uh, human style, not human style, but just creature style deck. So we're just going to worry about bringing in um, our creature game plan, which is going to be bringing in the three lightning axes. And then we're going to bring in the dark blast, the pharaoh as well. Um, just to let us you know, take out their creatures. We're going to take out the thugs. And then we're also going to take out the... Uh, one blood gas, and then um, three horns. Yep, oh, uh, one blood gas and two horns. And the decay, that's where that also was. Okay, so we're gonna run like this. Hmm. Do not have much going on here. Alright, we're willing to take this. We'll keep that on top. Let's go looting. We will bend the loam and the blood gas, and we'll pass it over. Church the loam. Bring back our blood gas. And we'll recast this loan and pass it over. That's not great for us. Good thing. Not to increase your opponent owns would die. Okay, that's fine. Let's take a natural draw, and then we're going to go get a blood crit, so we can abrupt that Infenza. Uh, beat them up and pass it over. craziest mana base like reflecting pool is so punishing if you don't have another land it's just a dead card right They just took the hit there. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't want to throw the voice in front of it. Just to get themselves a 4-4.
Charge that. Get the Merc Amoeba. Alright, so we could Conflag here and do a pretty good bit of damage to their board. Which I think is pretty reasonable for us. So we will... Loam first. And I was just trying to make sure that we could put this land in no matter what. Alright, so we've got five damage. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, they called it. But that's, uh, the conflag should be like X's, X's, uh, 10. I mean, X is 5, so that makes it convert a mana cost like 11, so. Um, so I'm sure they were just running that out to get the creature in there. Because otherwise it couldn't have cast it. If we swing, we can get either two damage through or none. I think that's fine. But I'm going to die over and over anyway. I think they're actually dead there. All right, let's run that back. We got some good interaction here. Clear their board a good bit, and we get some dragons. So we're cool to keep this. I'm just going to bolt the bird. I think we've got an abrupt decay, but still. Well, I don't 
think we can just not do anything, so I'm going to do that, and we're going to try to see if we can set ourselves up to still have some relevant game plan. They don't have anything on board right now. They have such a greedy mana base that I'm hoping that it slows them down, but it doesn't seem to be. Why do they gotta make our life so difficult? I'm like really excited if it's Rock Swarmonk. Like, it's gonna beat the crap out of us, but I'm just excited that someone's playing it. Oh, man. This is another Mantis Rider. It's much less exciting. Uh, I don't uh, have any plans, Reese. If you have a deck you want me to play, I'm more than happy to play it. Otherwise, I was thinking humans because uh, Kyle actually wanted to see someone play humans. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. See, if that or I was also thinking about playing Breach Titan to just play test it. I'll be honest, don't feel great about this matchup right now. We had to scoop one game already, and uh, they're in a pretty dominating position. Relevant spell? Nope. Alright, that's going to be this game. Alright, let's try to see if we can... Uh, Wrap this up with a winning, uh, winning league. Hmm. I think it's kind of interesting. So street corn's like super strong because of, um, just because that's how they are. We've only got one land though. If we can hit another land, this hand's pretty nuts. So. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're so good. Dredge the thug, dredge the long, dredge the thug. Oh, I should have milled myself one more. That's punishing. Weed out. Bring back the Narco Amoeba. Trigger the Amalgam. Hit him with the Creeping Chill. So we could loam here. Conflag our whole hand. Seems good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Send it his way. Okay, that's me. Pretty good. And Lexus, though, we're going against the life gain deck. Surprisingly, this cyborg guy doesn't have a recommendation for the super popular martyr deck. <laughs> Alright. So I'm expecting a lot of graveyard hate, to be honest. Um, and then I want to bring in the uh, abrupts, I think, as a result of that. Um, I think the dark blasts are going to be super handy here. To take out their extra threats as well. Uh, the little birds and their um, one drop that becomes a 6 6 that's names escaping me right now. Um, so let's bend the Shriek Horns. We'll also bring in the Vengeful Pharaoh. Thugs, one blood gas, and one amalgam. Did you have a deck you wanted me to set, uh, play, Reese? Or you wanted to see? Hmm, this hand needs one more land to really get going. I don't think it has enough. Well, it really does. Like if we get one land, we can just pitch every you know, pitch our our imp and our amalgam and really get the chain going. So I'm gonna keep it. Discard our stinkweed imp and our hmm. Our we didn't hit a land, unfortunately. I still 
still want to hit that land, so I'm just going to draw. Dang it. Okay, sounds good. Let me know what you find. Hitting that with our abrupt decay quite yet. I want to just get our um, our engine going. So we're in cathartic here. Uh, I'm gonna discard the loan for sure, the blood gas, and then we're gonna bring back the imp, another imp, and then the loan. And then we'll pass it over. So we can bend our hand here, or we can just... We're not in a ton of pressure or anything right now, so I think our best bet's actually just a loam. And get the get lands going, and then we'll be able to do some pretty good con, uh, conflag. Or um, just any dredge effect, honestly, isn't fine. So let's go for that, and we'll be able to conflag it next turn. do have our work cut out for us, I'll tell you what. So they're gonna gain a bunch of life here. Um, but I'd rather just get these off the board right now. So we're gonna discard one, two, three cards here. I also wanna keep the creeping chills at this point so we can hard cast them. So I think we're just gonna discard those. Um, hit them for one with the loam. So we're discarding the Miba, the, uh, the Miba, the Imp, the arid and the long. to God, squad, squad, squad. That field of 
it's gonna be doing a good bit of work. So we've already got both stomping grounds in the graveyard and our confluence. How many green sources left to draw? I think just the gemstone mine. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's right in the graveyard as well. So mines in the graveyard, confluence in the graveyard, and all the stompings are in the graveyard. Uh, so we've got the copper line gorges still. And there's only one of those. So we, sh I think we're gonna have to shift to just naturally drawing right now so until we can hit one of those. It's not really where we want to be, but it's um, we need to make sure we get a green source in order to keep our loam engine going and to be able to cast this abrupt decay. Well, that's a pharaoh. Let's run out this amp and we'll pass it over. Okay, there's the Ascendant, so unless we draw a green source like this turn, that's not going to find it for us. Let's Faithless Looting. I don't want to replace. I don't want to replace. Oh, there's the Copper Line. Sweet. So we'll discard the Vengeful, and we'll discard the Wooden. We'll play out the Copper Line Gorge, get back our Blood Gas. So they're going to get one good hit on us. If they want to swing their Ascendant in. Definitely F6. Okay, let's get back home. All right, we've only got 11 cards left. Okay, the Sarah Ascendant swing in with one creature. Yeah, no, for sure. Inth has the, the weird death touch effect. <sighs> so we can abrupt decay the Ascendant or try to set up for the Conflag on it. I feel like we're going to need... Um, like, if we want to have a reasonable clock, we may need to get rid of that ghostly prison. Um, we could have enough next turn. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. I think we wait till next turn to conflag the Sarah Ascendant so we can abrupt decay the uh, ghostly prison. I don't think we cast Creeping Chill here, though. I think we just pass turn um, and hold up Abrupt Decay in case we need to respond with it.
because we're gonna have to start chunking them before they get that Emiria online. Because if they get that online, we're pretty much dead. Gideon? Oh man. Okay, well I think we're just gonna take the six here. Feral can do its thing. <clears throat> Martyr. I'm gonna abrupt decay the ghostly prison. Bring back Loam. Cast it, bring back lands. We'll cut flag, wipe out all their stuff. I think the creeping chill does more for us in hand than otherwise. So I think we just can flag. We can send four at Gideon, one at Martyr, and then swing with the team. Why do you want to? Why do you want to loam for ten? Like I'd rather kill the Gideon now because the Gideon's gonna be doing a ton of work for them. Like by shutting off Gideon now, we're gonna be getting more damage through the um, through with the attacks. Because otherwise, it's just gonna keep um, stopping us from doing anything. Uh, it won't, okay. Okay, I guess that's fair. We're gonna kill him in time. Definitely won't kill him in time if we pop that relic. <laughs>
pretty good here. Hmm, we're in a pretty rough spot. <laughs> uh. Because we don't actually have a way left to deal with this, so we're gonna we're gonna concede here. Okay. Well, I'm still comfortable with our decision, so I think we're just gonna run it back. Oh man. Love cathartic, but we've got no dredge effects. Mm. So it'd reasonably be able to cathartic like twice, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think I don't think we can keep this, and we can't keep this either. I don't have the laboratory maniac plan. Crow, you would have uh, kept that other hand where you had um, the three cathartics. That was good enough. I'm still getting used to the deck, so I wasn't sure. It felt iffy to me, um, but that was a good enough hand for you to keep. <laughs> it really would be the ultimate gotcha using Lab Maniac to get some wins when you mill your entire deck. Opponent's making the big decisions right now. It's a reasonable point. Allows you to have more options against the graveyard hate. I felt like it was, um, yeah. I guess that's a really good point. I guess, I guess you're just discarding the cards and drawing more, and then you can just build your hand as a result of it. Looking iffy, folks. I'm gonna keep this. Got to land on top. I'm gonna pass it over. Next turn, we're gonna play. Use that land and get this uh, looting going. to 
discard the amp and the discard the blood gas there. I'm holding the loan just in case they do have some graveyard hate they want to throw off right away. Um, right now I don't think we're doing too hot. We are one and two. flag in the grave and pass it over. Yeah, I've seen Dredge do very powerful things. It mulls very well, so I've always been very impressed with it as a result. We'll draw here because we're gonna try to hit a land. And we hit a land, sweet. Um, discard the imp in one of the loams. Bring back the dark blast. We can start clearing away their board. Loam back their lands. There goes a Okay, so we're going to have to get a nature's claim here to take care of that ghostly prison. I still want to just grab the Dark Blast right now. So I want to be able to swing through here for as much damage as we can with the Amalgam. It's pretty good. They got uh, two paths, two squad hawks, another martyr, an Elspeth, and a wrath of god. Mm -hmm. 
I wouldn't be surprised if they do um, run worship in the side, but I don't know offhand. So we can swing here or we can try to... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to swing here. I want to get some damage through. We are not doing great on the clock level right now. By far out life gaining us on this train. And we can only deal so much damage. I think I'm just gonna go for the big dredgers right now, see if we can get some more pressure on the board. I just dredged away two more claims. I'm so sad with my life. Yeah, we got that two in. And they're only at 80. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get this one, folks. Not at this rate, anyway. We need to get that prism off the board. And they just got another one. Oh, my God. I want to draw right now. So we got to pick four mana to hit him for three. And we're at 78 life. My word. just don't win this game i feel like we should just scoop it up and go to the next game because now they're at four bail they're gonna start being able to start dropping their um their ran the ranger of eos their wrath of gods wipe our board i just yeah this isn't going anywhere for us like <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, like, it's not even like a 25 turn clock because, like, they have so much uh, attrition to us, so. Yeah, I th I think we're just gonna go ahead and scoop here. This this is a matter of time before they win or they time us out. So <laughs> okay, uh, so we're entering the last uh, game, the last match of this league here. If you guys got a deck you guys want me to play, let me know. Otherwise, um, uh, I'm probably gonna either play Breach Titan again because I did enjoy playing that, or. Uh, I was going to play Humans because a friend wanted to check it out. So ship me a list right now if you guys want to see anything. Otherwise, we're going to grab one of those. Or you guys can vote for one of those. That's fine, too.
to say the least. Yeah, yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Okay, I'm cool with running Breach Titan again. I had a lot of fun with that deck, so. Hey, Jay. Which Jay? Because I know a couple. COJ or Third Shift J? <laughs> gotcha okay cool um yes but i mean then again there's my gamer tag my only problem with that zoltai reclamation deck is that it takes forever to do stuff with that deck and you guys are going to be sitting here watching me tap and untap for quite some time and i've played against that deck and it uh it times out even when it's winning unless your opponent concedes it is a sweet deck though i feel like that's the kind of deck i want to play at fnm Is this the same opponent? No, it's not. Oh, this is the opponent we played against in our match one, though. And they were on Shadow, right? I think you're gonna have a good time with it. Right, Reese, your name is an enigma. No one knows. To be fair, that's an apt description of EDH. I, I you know, I, f I don't think that's as bad in modern. Double chill. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think we're about to hard cast this blood gas and start swinging. right now. I don't need a blocker. It's fine. Are they going to one? No, no. Yeah, you're not wrong that we could get... Uh, Death Shadow one shotted, but uh, they've also got to deal with the fact that they are kind of in a position where they have to block. 
And after they block, we're going to be able to bring back our blood gas and our amalgam, which will be pretty cool. Can they even swing? Because if they swing, if we get another blood gas, we'll just kill them. Are they finally deciding to attack? <gasps> no. Oh man, we got three amalgams of the graveyard now. Okay, Let's see if we can get this. I do feel like we should just concede to them though, because we are um, one in three. We can't prize. So. You want me to dream crush? That's so mean. Alright, we are taking out... We're adding the... 
axes, the decay, and the pharaoh. And we're gonna take out the dark blast, a horn, a gemstone, an amalgam, and a reunion. Okay, I'll ask him what his record is. It's a pretty good hand, I think. Oh my gosh, they have a light line. Did not board for the ley line, uh, so <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna die. <laughs> uh, We can't low. <laughs> um, so that's kind of pointless. Do we just grab a blood crypt and go on just forming our hand and then just beat him down with blood gas? Because <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Ooh, and we got a Ken Flag. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Loam's dead and Narcomute is not useful to me. I'm shipping it. <laughs> uh, we were not prepared for this ley line. <laughs> uh, do they have a threat? Is it a Gormog? Yeah, it's a Gormog. We're gonna kill that Gormog. We're gonna kill it so good. He has another threat. We have another lightning axe. Is that a shadow? Oh man. I can just tell that it's a uh it's gonna happen. Don't you stub me. Don't stub me. Don't do it. Thoughtscar, yes! <laughs> uh, oh man, they're gonna take our blood cast! Have another threat, but we already, we already used both of our lightning axes. Oh man, what are we gonna do now? to the nitty gritty.
So, like, is there a chance we just win if we get a land here? Right? Like, they swing on us, we drop the bug ass, and... Oh, man, why they got a bad rage? We're dead. Too bad we're dead. So we do have to bring in some nature's claim. We'll bin a couple shriek horns. It was almost two. We almost got there. If they would have swung at us one more time. We drew a land, swung at them, somehow can flag for two. Would have been great. Okay, we'll take this. We've got looting. Got an answer to their uh, ley line. Oh. Well, I was lucky until they had two, <laughs> uh, two ley lines. <laughs> I feel like I'm bad at life. Let's just hope they kept a terrible hand in order to have both ley lines, right? Like, that's a reasonable thing to wish. I was going to concede anyway, be uh, against Reese's wishes that we should, I mean, uh, against Crow's wishes that we should dream crush. I'm like really hoping we get to uh, nature's claim them off of a shadow. That's my current dream right now. I am actually excited to test out the uh, um, London Mulligan. I was told it's going to go live on uh, Moto here. And we get to test it for like a month or so. How are they going to battle rage us? That's so weird. At least I get to do this. <laughs> uh, I was not supposed to play that land. Okay. I clicked the land by accident and I put it in play and I could have cast the lightning axe that turn. That feels bad. I get to at least kill their creature before we die. I know I goofed. That was that was a misclick, bad play all around. So, but we're done here. We're done here. All right, let me get this deck back, and then we're gonna swap over to Breach Titan.
I yeah, we were we were dead regardless, but still, it was a, a misplay was definitely made. So, um, definitely need more reps with the deck if I want to do anything with it at this point. On the plus side, I do enjoy the deck. Alright, that deck's gone. And let's swap over. <laughs> I'm a bad magic streamer, man. I gotta get all those things up and running, and I, I have not got that gun going, so. Alright, I got the deck loaded up, and we are just waiting for the trade to go through, and we'll be ready to go. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break while we're waiting. <laughs> 